Got to take a little bit more. I'm compelled by ignorance, stupidity, and recklessness. On to another question. You know, you kind of start questioning your life. I'm like, in my early 50s, you just begin to question things. The red you're seeing around my mouth, that is blood. My, I'm bleeding from the inside right now. Welcome to today's Q&A. Not your ordinary q and I'm gonna answer your questions while eating these crazy Daybak ghost pepper noodles from Malaysia. Not sure how spicy they are, but you know what? One way to find out. Give them a try. Road opening. All right, let's make sure I have the essentials when eating spicy food. Milk, check. Apple cider vinegar, check. Orange juice, check. Adult diapers, check. Actually, I had Korean food last night and I made sure I got the blandest food possible. And also this morning for breakfast, I had some cornflakes and a cup of coffee. So I've been eating pretty light to prepare for this uh, insane, they call it a challenge. I don't know, what, what, whatever you want to call what I'm doing. Maybe just call it stupid. I got a couple of comments last week about probably that it's not a good idea for me to do this, but you know, what the heck do they know? I mean, I even got a comment from my sister who's a nurse. She's known me my whole life. She told me not to do this, but I mean, come on. I'm an English teacher and I make stupid ass videos. I think I know what I'm doing. Also on the packaging, there's a little scale showing the Scoville rating for these peppers and ghost peppers are supposed to be pretty freaking hot. The Scoville scale measures pungency and heat of a pepper and these are listed as one million, so, so good times. All right, so let's make the noodles. This may come as a surprise, but I'm not a chef, but I think I know how to make, I know how to make instant noodles, come on. All right, so let's get the, oh, we got a little camera here. Look, we got a little camera set up there. So I'm gonna show a little bit of me making the noodles. All right. Okay, this is how they look. And this is the sauce here. All right, so I'm gonna, Put this crap in here. Putting the water in the microwave. I want it to be good, so make sure it's nice and hot. <coughs> oh God, the smell. All right, you know what? Call me Jack Nicholson, because you know what? This is as good as it gets. Welcome to the second annual Q&A with Ken from Bruno on Frame. Today is gonna to be a little different. Today, I'm gonna to field your questions while eating these Daybach ghost pepper noodles. Let me show the little setup I have going on here. So here's the garbage I'm gonna eat. These are the, where I'm gonna be reading the questions from. As I mentioned, I have orange juice, milk, water. I'm sure I'm gonna be needing this, probably not for my mouth. So before I get to the questions, let me just take, let me take a little taste of these things. So let me get a napkin here. All right. I seen some other videos this stuff's supposed to be pretty pretty uh raunchy stuff and take a little uh taste of these black beauties all right oh god oh god oh this sucks <coughs> maybe a holy shit. maybe these will get easier to eat with time i should try Okay, I have orange, like as I mentioned, I have orange juice and milk. I read on the internet, and the internet never lies, that um, orange juice is good for when you're eating spicy food. The acid and the sugar will help with the taste. Oh, and that did. And I have milk here, because I am, I mentioned before, I'm a big Hot Ones fan. Very popular YouTube show where people eat spicy wings and they drink milk. So this is cow's milk. I normally drink like almond or pistachio milk. <clears throat> I'm drinking cow's milk today. I'm not like a vegan or vegetarian or anything. I don't know, I just like, it doesn't matter. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna field some questions while eating this trash noodles. My mouth is on fire, I didn't take that much. So let's start with the first question. My good friend Eric asked, that's pretty hot. 
Okay, have you ever eaten something so hot you swore you would never try it again? Yes, I feel dizzy right now. Yes, I have eaten something so spicy. I still eat it, but I just don't get as many chilies on it. But there's this some all salad, it's kind of like some tam. And when I get some tam, which is papaya salad, I usually get three to four chilies. But for some reason, it's crazy spicy. So if I get those, I only get one chili because you know, I'll be in the bathroom. Speaking of bathroom, let me take another bite of this gar this stuff here. Oh, I guess you're supposed to be able to see me eat it. You really want to see me eat? Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah. Got to take a little bit more. It didn't taste as bad this time. I've never done anything like this before. The uh, thing is, I'm hungry right now, so I kind of want to start eating it. But I don't think that'd be a good idea. Uh, let me take a. I'm gonna take a big old mouthful. <coughs> On to another question. Oh shit. You know, you kind of start questioning your life. I'm like in my early 50s. I'm living in Thailand. I'm eating these freaking noodles in front of a camera. You just begin to question things. Oh, don't worry, juice helps. Don't worry, juice helps. Let me try the milk. Mmm, milk's good. Mouth's still on fire, but it tastes good. <clears throat> All right, my friend Daryl asks, my question for 2021 would be, will you be doing any filming via your scooter around Chiang Mai local points of interest? I don't think this video is going to turn out good. Um, <clears throat> I got to talk normal. Oh yeah, my lips are, oh my God, my lips are all red. The red you're seeing around my mouth, that is blood. My, I'm bleeding from the inside right now. Uh, so Daryl's asking about, will I be filming on a scooter around Chiang Mai? Um, yeah, I'll try to get out and about on the bike when I have more time. Um, right now, I'm teaching and I'm doing like a, a contract job. But, um, I want to die. Okay, I'm, I'm teaching. Okay, I, I need to pull it together. I need to get my. I need to get my stuff together. All right, I'm doing a contract job and I teach English, so getting on the bike logistically isn't really practical. But maybe in um, April, I'll try to get out more, show some spots that I like around Chiang Mai, or maybe go to other cities when things open up. Yes, Daryl, I am planning on getting out on the scooter. Um, and seeing more things in Chiang Mai. That's kind of a lot. I'm not going to take that much. Maybe it'll get easier as I eat. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> on to the next question. Long time viewer David Gall says, Swati B Mai, which is Thai for Happy New Year. Where do you see yourself in five years? If I survive this freaking that I'm eating right now and make it to five years or I mean life's uncertain you never know what's going to happen in life but um I seriously have not planned out the answers I kind of want to give sincere real answers in five years I'm hoping to still be in Thailand in Chiang Mai I love Thailand so much it's my home away from home <clears throat> I hope I get to go back and visit in America but right now America's having some issues so I think it'll be a little while before I uh before I go back there, unfortunately. Um, but I hope I'm still living in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Hope I'm still making videos. I hope I, <coughs> if I keep on making stellar content like this, I'm hoping to be able to make a living from making videos. I mean, I don't know if it'll be this channel, if it'll be something else, but I love making videos. I love communicating to people. I don't want to say I love teachings, that sounds pretentious, but I love, ex I love sharing my experiences. So I hope to be making videos and still living in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Good question. Good question, David. Thank you. I have a lot left still. I have a lot left. Luckily, I have some more orange juice. I'm compelled by ignorance, stupidity, and recklessness. Welcome to Bruno on Frame. That's a lot. Okay, it's getting, it is getting easier. 
The next question is by Norris and he's asking, always nice to see your videos. Question again, where is Plair? I'm gonna show a map where Plair is. Plair's in Thailand. I've been there numerous times and if you watch a couple or more of my videos, you'll know I have trouble saying the city. That's where my girlfriend lives. I go there once a month. So Plair is in Thailand. I think I have something in my teeth. Mm -hmm. I should have brought the bottle of um, orange juice, the Evan Art bottle. All right, Norris, thank you for the question. All right, Dan K asks, Hi, Ken. Happy New Year. My question is, why would you knowingly eat something that would keep you in the toilet all night anyway? Good luck with the noodles. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> now I'm going to say, Dan, I went down wrong. <laughs> because I'm a damn fool. That's why I'm eating these noodles. <laughs> All right, good question. On to the next. Oh, I guess I should take a, I should take a bite. All right. All right, bite ask. Bite as in computer term, as in eight, I think a bite is eight bits. Old school computer term. Someone please correct me down below if I'm wrong. Bite writes, great video as usual, talking about the 2020 year in review and thank you for everyone who watched it. It took me a long time to do that video. Uh, it was hard picking out what I wanted to include in it. My mouth is on fire and I feel like my stomach is expanding right now. Great video as usual. I have a question. Why don't you have more Rodney Norman videos? Thank you and I'll sit down for my answer. Uh, all right, good, good question. Uh, oh God, Rodney Norman, I love this guy. Um, you know what, Rodney Norman, he is, he is the voice we need in these in 2020 2021 so yes i need to put more rodney in you know what as i'm drinking orange juice and milk and questioning what the hell i'm doing with my life let's let's hear a little bit from rodney there's a lot of craziness going on in my life but i can deal with it because i'm still here i got nothing else to do except deal with stuff so i just just gonna deal with it. Nicely said, Mr. Norman. I mean, let me let me poison my body a little more. For how many more questions do I have? I'm beginning to think that maybe the spiciest part was on top. Because it's getting less spicy, or maybe maybe I'm losing my senses right now. I'm losing my sense of taste. This is where the virus came from. I'm losing my sense of taste. I'm I'm I was coughing off camera. I'm sniffling. My head hurts. My body aches. I found the source. It wasn't bats. It's this crap from Malaysia. All right, so the next question is, Mark asked, <coughs> for questions for the q and A, I'd be interested to know your experience of teaching online. It is something I've been looking into do and have started doing a TEFL course. I think a lot more people going forward will be interested in moving their income online given what 2020 <laughs> showed us. Great question, Mark. He's asking about online teaching. My experience <clears throat> online teaching, because you know I teach in a school, but I also teach online sometimes. The demand for online teachers hasn't become less. It's probably become more, but there's more people teaching online because I think a lot of people are out of work. So you can still make money. You can still get hours teaching online, but it's a lot more competitive than it was before, before this uh, pandemic. Good question. Thank you. All right, let's take another bite. This is the diet. Oh. Yeah, I spilled it all over the place. I better wipe it off the table. It'll probably leave a permanent stain. On to the next question. Burr N asks, Hi Ken, Happy New Year. I have a question for you. I was wondering, as an aspiring expat, what made you choose Chiang Mai over other parts of the country? Also, what other parts of Thailand would you consider? Great question. What other parts of Thailand would I consider living in? Well, Player's nice. Kind of, kind of sleepy, not a lot of things to do. Um, before I answer your question, I'm going to eat some noodles. Mmm, noodles. I love eating noodles. What other cities was I considering besides Chiang Mai? Let's see, I was considering Nong Kai. Like, before I came here to live back, God, 13 years now, 13, 14 years ago. Wow, it's a long time. Time flies. I don't know, I, I heard a lot about, because I went. To, I used to go to a Thai Buddhist temple, so I knew a lot of locals, knew a lot of Americans who've been to Thailand, that Chiang Mai is a good place for foreigners to go. Um, like just, 
it's you know nicely located nice weather people are really nice uh, easy to travel around not too busy I'm not like really in the big cities so yeah Chiang Mai just seemed like a good uh, yeah a lot of temples and yeah really interesting culture uh, a lot of mountains and stuff I'm not I, mean, I like beaches Definitely, I love beaches, but I, I like mountains more than beaches. So I want to be someplace surrounded by mountains. I like the north a lot. Thank you for your question. <clears throat> All right, actually, I'm getting to the end of this. I'm seeing light at the end of the tunnel. All right, let's go to the next question. Ah, all right, next we have Andrew. Andrew asked the excellent question as always. Any plans for future travel within Thailand? Visiting the South Krabby Island, perhaps. We all like your quirky style and present presenting. I can't read anymore. Okay, yeah, thank you so much, Andrew. But I, I definitely, I want to go down south. I want to go to the islands. I want to go back to Paiao. I really love Paiao. I went there twice, many years ago, and I love that place. I love the people, love the food. Really cool downtown, beautiful lake. Ah, I love, I love Paiao. So I wouldn't mind going to Paiao or someplace down south. Um, see any other places? Hua Hin. I've never been to Hua Hin. If anyone's been to Hua Hin, I've heard mixed things about Hua Hin. In the comments down below, if you've been to Hua Hin, please let me know what you feel about that part of Thailand. That's a good question, Andrew. All right, let's take a seat some more. Oh, we're almost done. Darn it, I'm having such a good time with this. All right, Jacques from Chiang Mai Thai Video Vlogs. YouTuber Jacques asked, first, what are your predictions for 2021? Second, how's life these days in Chiang Mai? I heard the restrictions are tightening. My predictions for 2021. Well, let's see how the vaccine goes. Hopefully things open up safely, not just open up like, oh, well, we need to open things up in total mess. Um, the pandemic is contained, under control. People are able to work, uh, travel again. I know, you know, a lot of businesses are going out so it's not like, oh, a vaccine is working or the virus has died out. So everyone back to normal life. No, there's going to be a lot of residual damage. So I think 2021 is going to be, hopefully it's going to be towards the end, rebuilding. I, I don't know. I'm not sure about 2021. I, I, hope, I hope for the best. And oh, the second question is, so how's life in Chiang Mai these days? I heard restrictions are tightening. Yeah, um, pubs are closed right now um i've been seeing a lot of coffee shops and restaurants not being open because i think they're afraid of just you know getting hit with the the virus so yeah things are pretty um pretty quiet now before you're kind of coming back now it seems like we're kind of going back to maybe a possible lockdown i hope not yeah so things in chiang mai i'd say are kind of kind of uncertain it's kind of tense a little bit, I, I would say. All right, so that's the end of the Q&A. Everybody, thank you so much for the comments, and especially thanks to everyone who left a question for me to answer while eating this nonsense. Mm. I've eaten enough. Okay, I'm going to show what's left. There's a couple of little bits of noodles in there, but you know what? It's good enough. All right, so that's the end of the Q&A while eating Dayback Ghost Pepper Noodles. I'm going to say overall, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And I wasn't just playing it up because at first it was like, I didn't think I was going to be able to get through it. So as I ate, it got easier or maybe, like I said, maybe I just lost my sense of taste or ah, I'm dying or something. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it wasn't too gross of me like burping and making noodle eating noises and all that good stuff so please comment down below what you think of this q a while eating the daybok ghost pepper noodles or just comment down below let me know how you're doing how your 2021 is going so far if you're not subscribed please subscribe and you're subscribed if you don't have that bell click what the heck baby you're gonna miss out on content like this if you like this video Give it a thumbs up. If you want to contact me, click on the Instagram link down below. You can send me a, a message there. I'm pretty good at responding. And as always, no matter who you are or where you are, push.